One in three women are regularly subjected to violence. One in three women is subject to sexual or physical violence. According to a report by the World Health Organization, most often the threat comes from cohabitants. The study, conducted for the first time on such a large scale, showed that 35.6% of women are prone to such violence. Dr. Margaret Chan, head of WHO, in her report described this problem as a global catastrophe that has assumed the dimensions of an epidemic. Statistically, women. The study, conducted for the first time on such a large scale, showed that 35.6% of women are prone to such violence. Dr. Margaret Chan, head of WHO, in her report described this problem as a global catastrophe that has assumed the dimensions of an epidemic. According to statistics, women who have been humiliated physically or sexually are more likely to get sick with HIV, suffer from depression, alcohol dependence. They are prone to more complications during pregnancy. Approximately 38% of the women killed died because of the actions of their partners. At the same time, only 6% of male deaths are explained by the same cause. Violence against women should not be seen as unusual and rare. According to the authors of the report, this is a common way of behavior of many people who in every way infringe on the rights of women and girls. It is also mentioned that the real numbers are likely to far exceed the information obtained during the study. The problem with obtaining accurate statistics was that not all victims of violence admitted that bullying or gender discrimination had occurred. Representatives of WHO and the London School of Hygiene and Medicine noted that some women can put their lives in danger if they talk about what is happening in their homes. Despite the fact that the researchers tried to obtain data from all corners of the earth, it was not possible to collect complete information on such areas as the Middle East, East, and Central Asia, Central Africa. The most dangerous place is South Asia, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Timor-Leste, where 37.7% of women are regularly exposed to violence by their partner. The second most dangerous region, the level of violence is 37% is the Eastern Mediterranean, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Jordan, Palestine. Europe is on a par with America at 29.8%. The safest places for women are countries with a high standard of living, such as Australia, Canada, Japan. Charlotte Watts, a professor at the London School of Hygiene and Medicine, said a lot of resources need to be invested to minimize and eliminate violence as much as possible. Also, WHO recommends paying more attention to the recovery of people after they have been exposed to violence. Moreover, it is necessary to revise the programs of psychological support for people in need. Stay tuned for more updates.